You're listening to the IO Soapbox with Aiken. I'm an IO psychologist, which of course means no one knows what I do. Now on this show, we are going to talk about IO psychology. I'm hoping that some of you not in IO will want to join us, and those of you in IO will be inspired to break new ground. Now, let's get me a cup of coffee, because I'm tired, and then it's time for me to rant about random things on my soapbox. Okay, so you've decided that you want a master's degree in IO psychology. Good for you. I'm proud of you. That was a big decision, right? Master's versus PhD. All right, we're done. No, you're not. You're just beginning. It is actually basically the wild west out there when it comes to master's degrees in IO psychology. First of all, you're looking at different letters. MA, MS, MPS. It's basically alphabet soup. So you get to decide whether you want a Master's of Arts, a Master's of Science, or a Master's of Professional Studies. Get yourself familiar with what those mean. And by the way, they don't mean the same thing all the time. Like, not every institution that has an MPS is going to be the same as any other institution with an MPS. So spend some time familiarizing yourself with that. Honestly, when it comes to Master's degrees, there's a veritable menu of different options that you can choose from. Thesis, not thesis, evening, daytime, and so on. So let's go ahead and check out all of the different, well, at least many of the different menu options that you might have to choose between when you're deciding on which master's program is the right program for you. Yeah, I'm about to eat the soapbox. Hi! Hi, welcome to the IO Soapbox. Um, Will it table for uh, for, for one? Just one, yeah, just, just Okay, all right, cool. All right, please come with me. All right, if you could, just go ahead and look over the menu. I will get out of your personal space and get you some water. Um, we can go from there. You're looking at today's special? I am. All right. What do you think, dude? I've never had it before. Okay. I'll say that. Um, I'm a little concerned that it might be a little too costly. Okay, okay. Well, it kind of depends on which way you go, right? So if you get the master's in IO psychology, you know, that could be expensive or less expensive, but definitely if you substitute for organizational development or human resources management, there's a chance the cost goes up a little bit. It kind of depends on how fresh it is, you know, like, so, okay. well, sure. What do you recommend? Well, you know, I do I do think the master's in IO psychology is, is, is pretty stellar. I mean, are you, what are you looking for? Are you looking for um, a degree that uh, has a thesis or a degree without a thesis? Well, I mean, I'm very new to the whole restaurant field thing, so I don't know what I'm really looking for. Okay, okay. Maybe you can buy a Well, uh, well, if you want a thesis, you know, if, if you want to go into a PhD program, a thesis can be very helpful for that, uh, as it kind of shows your, your writing and research potential. If you're more applied, you really want to go applied, you might want to look for a master's in IO psychology that has a practicum or an internship requirement. I'm thinking the thesis right now. You're thinking the thesis? Okay, I'm thinking right. the thesis. I would love to go into the doctoral program as well. Okay. Um, perfect, perfect. Now, so if you want to go into a doctoral program, have you thought about like what part of IO psychology you might be most interested in? So, of course, we have industrial, which is like more the systems and processes and organizational, which is more like the, the fluffy stuff, teams, leadership, you know? So, are you looking for a master's that has uh, a slant toward the I side, a slant toward the O side, or are you looking for a balanced master's program? Well, this is the IO soapbox, so I guess I want it to be balanced. Nice, nice, you know? solid choice. Yeah. Especially okay. if you want to go into a PhD, a lot of the research can kind of move into both domains. That gives you a little bit of, of flexibility in there. Uh, how long do you think you're going to want to spend on your thesis? I mean, like, I mean, you're on your master's degree. Do you want it to be like a quickie in and out? Do you want a big two-year deal, two and a half-year deal? 
I thought I was going to be here for a couple of minutes eating food, but I mean, I mm. guess we're talking about years. It can take a while for it to come out of the oven. I can tell you, like, we do our best, but, you know. Anything worth having is hard to get. Yeah, straight slow, cook, slow cooker. That's what we're talking about. Slow cooker. Well, give me the slowest cook you can find. All right, the slowest cook. I want to be delicious. Yes, yes, because you want that time to work on a thesis. Exactly. I feel you. I feel you. Okay. So what are you thinking about in terms of, you know, like, I would say since you're going thesis level, you might also want to look at a master's that has a quantitative slant, because of course most PhD programs are going to be focused a little bit more on statistics. Other programs might not, you know, if they have a master's program has a qualitative slant, it might not give you all of that stats background that you need. So what do you think? Go quali quantitative? Quantitative. 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 Okay, I got you, I got you. All right, um, have you considered when you want to attend classes? So some programs are going to offer their classes in the evening, some are going to do it in the daytime, you know, it, you might be, you might have some different people, you know, if you're going to daytime classes, your fellow uh, students might be more traditional students coming out more, for, more more close to undergraduate, you go to evening programs, you may have more working adults in with you, I mean, what, what do you think? I'm thinking morning, morning classes, I think it might fit my, uh, my lifestyle. So you don't want to work while you're doing this? No, not really. Okay. Right. Unless it's too pricey, then I would have to work. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, those evening classes can be great if you want to keep a job while you're working through your master's degree. It would be possible to get a job and have a workload from my master's degree, or...? Possible, very difficult, exhausting, but possible if you have those evening classes. If you take daytime classes and you want to keep a job, it's going to be hard finding a job that is flexible enough to allow for that. Not possible, just hard. So going down the thesis route, it is kind of pricey. Right. I guess I should probably do the evening classes so I can keep my job. All right, I feel you. All right, so another question. You know, a lot of programs are going to have those face-to-face -face classes. You get a good feel of who's in the classroom, but again, you're going to have to be there at that time, every time. Some programs are going to be fully online, so you might be able to do them at your own time, or at, you know, they might be more evening-oriented, but at the same time, you might not bond with people in your class in the same way. And then, of course, you have the hybrid format. We have a little bit of face-to-face -face and a little bit of online. Maybe you have a preference for the kind of format for delivery? I usually like to do face-to-face -face for delivery. Uh, however, considering this is going to be a pretty costly, yeah, I should probably consider the online. A master's degree is definitely an investment. It is an investment. And I want to be delicious when I do it, so. Of course, I mean, that's why you're waiting for a couple of years for it to come out of the oven. Okay, okay, okay. I like the patience on this one. Okay, so then the other question that I have is really, you know, do you really want to go through and be able to customize your experience? So, you know, you can be choosing your electives, or do you want to be part of a cohort where you can really build those personal relationships, but you might not be able to choose the classes that you're taking because you're all taking the same classes? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question I haven't considered. I know, right? I know. I know. I know. I can say that. <laughs> I, I, they both have their benefits. You know, I can be develop relationships with the, everyone else in my, in my cohort. Yeah. Or I can, you know, tailor it to where I get what I want out of it, specifically just for me. Mm hmm So what's it going to be? I think I'm going to go... Uh, at the end, I still get the same degree. Well, yes and no, right? I mean, the degree might be a Master's of Arts. It might be a Master's of Science. It might be a Master's of Professional Studies. Different organizations and different universities are going to look at those differently. If you go face-to-face, -face, that's going to be looked at a particular way. If you go online, that'll be looked at a different way. You know, if you go and you get experiences that are highly applied, that's going to help you move into applied worlds, right? Like, if, But if you don't get those research experiences, it's going to be harder for you to move on to that PhD. So the letters, the letters may be similar or the same, but the experience that you get is going to vary widely depending upon all of these different factors. Um, this is about to think about. Let me go take a quick bathroom break. Um, <laughs> it's only been six months. <laughs> where's your, where's your bathroom? Um, it's out the front door. That's usually where people go when they're ready to flee. Let me go do that. I'll come back. I'll promise. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I've heard that one before. I will. I Can will. I tell you how many times I've heard that one? I will. Mm -hmm.
as you can see, a master's degree is not going to be for everyone. There are so many decisions that you have to make to decide among the over 150 different master's programs in IO psychology that are out there. So spend some time, think about what your goals are. Are you trying to move into a research route or PhD? Are you trying to move into applied work or practice? Do you have an area of specialty that you want to focus on? Organizational change, for example. Or are you looking for a more generalist program that gives you a sampling of everything that might be, or at least most things that might be within the realm of IO psychology? Do you want to be face-to-face -face with your fellow students? Do you want the flexibility of learning in an online environment? Who do you want to be surrounded by? How often? <laughs> During the day? At night? Think about those questions and spend time on the websites of the programs that you are interested in to get a sense of their culture and how they work. Talk to the directors or the program coordinators about job opportunities, where people go, placement rates, mentoring, and other things like that that will give you an idea of what your experience will be like while you're in the program. Master's degrees in I.O. can be incredibly flexible, but make sure you know what you're getting into and what a school can offer you before you commit to something that can be expensive and that you want to pay off for you.